Hi friends, how are you? In this video, we will learn the welding sequence of a storage tank bottom plate. Do you know why the welding sequence is important? Due to the heat input during the welding may cause for deformation of the weld joint. Mainly there are two types of deformations, angular and wave deformations. There are many methods to control the deformation in a weld joint. Here I will show you the most effective and most commonly used methods. One method is the alternate welding of joints, or providing different types of supports, gigs, and fixtures. Here we will apply a combination of these two methods. This is the general view of an annular bottom plate drawing. Let us have a quick look. These are annular plates. There are two parts in a bottom plate. The rectangular plates. and the sketch plates. A backing strip plate comes below each annular plate joint. After the installation of the annular plate, start welding the alternate joints. Install key plates before starting the welding. Don't remove this support until the joint is cool. Weld the alternate joint, you can weld it simultaneously. After the completion of the annular plate welding, install the bottom plates. Provide key plates and weld the short seams on alternate joints. Avoid welding any adjacent joints. Complete the welding of the remaining short seams following the alternate method. Fit up the long seams alternately from center to periphery. Install long supports 100 to 150 millimeters away from the joints as shown. Leave 300 millimeters from the outer edge of the bottom plate. This unwelded portion will be welded only during the annular to bottom plate welding. The welding also shall be done from center to outwards. After finishing the alternate joint welding, apply the same method for the remaining long seam welding. The bottom plate to annular plate shall be done only after erecting minimum of half of the number of the shell courses. Hope this video was useful to you, have a nice day.